gracious unto me, O sinner, and have mercy upon me, O God. Be gracious unto me, O sinner, and have mercy upon me, O God. Be gracious unto me, O sinner, and have mercy upon me. Bless Master. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen from, from the dead, dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens as it were a curtain, who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. You who establish the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss, like a garment, is his mantle. Upon the mountains shall the waters stand. At thy rebuke they will flee. At the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up, and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys. Between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heavens lodge, from the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers, the earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nests, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun arises, and they are gathered together, and they, sh and they lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth into his work, and work until, and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there is that Le this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall increase. They shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and maketh it tremble. Who toucheth the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet to him. I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners should cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, they should, they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O oh, Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O oh, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O oh, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, for the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For 
Metropolitan Paul Archbishop John and for their quick release from captivity and safe return. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for our armed forces everywhere, especially for Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Madison, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Will, Adam, Schuyler, and Alex, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, and especially for those suffering from the COVID virus, and for the families, for captives and their salvation, for those under persecution, for the faith, for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Thickness of the earth is broken upon the ground. 
their bones are scattered by the side of hell. But to thee, O Lord, Lord, are mine eyes, in thee have I put my trust, take not away my soul. Keep me from the snares which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own dance while I alone escape. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my supplication before him, I should before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knew who is my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they secretly laid a snare for me? I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no one cared for my soul. I cried to thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise thy name. We worship untiringly thy quickening cross, O Christ God, and glorify thy third day resurrection. For by it, O Almighty, thou hast renewed the corrupt nature of mankind, and made plain to us the ascent to heaven. For thou alone art good and the lover of mankind. The righteous shall wait for me until thou recompense me. When thou wast willingly nailed upon the cross, O Savior, thou didst solve the problem by, caused by the tree of sin. And when thou didst descend into Hades, thou didst break the bonds of death, since thou art a mighty God. Wherefore we worship thy resurrection from the dead, shouting with joy, O Almighty Lord, glory to thee. Out of the depths have I cried to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Thou didst demolish by thy death, O Lord, the gates of Hades. Thou didst dissolve the realm of death, and didst free the human race from corruption. Granting the world life and incorruptibility and great mercy. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Come, ye nations, let us praise the third day resurrection of the Savior, by which we were delivered from the unbreakable bonds of Hades, and by which we all have received life and incorruption crying. O thou who was crucified, buried, and who did rise, save us by thy resurrection, O thou only lover of mankind. If thou, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. There is come now the middle of those days, which commence with Christ God's saving rising and which are sealed by Pentecost, that divine day, illuminated by both the feasts and joining both. It is radiant, and in truth is now rendered majestic, showing and manifesting the presence of the great glory of the ascension of our Master, Christ God. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. Zion heard and was glad when she received the good tidings of the resurrection of Christ our God. As for her right faithful offspring, they rejoicing him who also washing clean away by the Spirit he gave to them all the stain of Christ's murder. Wherefore Zion prepareth to celebrate the joy bestowing mid festal day of both the feasts.
news. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. Now at hand is the apple pouring forth of the Holy Spirit on all men, as the scripture saith. This is proclaimed by the advent of the midpoint of that time, fixed by the sure and true promise Christ gave his followers after willingly dying, being buried and rising, and which made known the coming manifestation of the Comforter. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. At the sixth hour thou didst come to the well, O fountain of wonder, to ensnare the fruit of Eve. For that one at the very same hour had been driven from paradise by the serpent's temptation. Then the Samaritan woman came to draw water. When thou didst see her, O Savior, thou didst say to her, Give me water to drink, and I will fill thee with everlasting water. And that chaste woman hastened at once to the city and said to the crowds, Come and see Christ the Lord, the Savior of our souls. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people. When the compassionate Lord came to the well, the Samaritan woman asked him, saying, Give me the water of faith, O giver of life, that I may take the water of baptism for delight and for salvation, O Lord, glory to his mercy is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. The Son, the Word of the Father, co-eternal and co-beginningless, the fountain of wonders, came to the spring where a woman of Samaria came to draw water. And when the Savior saw her, he said unto her, Give me water to drink, and go call thy husband. But she, addressing him, as man is not, and not as God, wished to withhold herself from him, saying, I have no husband. And the master replied, Thou hast said the truth, thou hast, ha hast no husband. For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. And she, bewildered by these words, went to the city and shouted to the crowd, saying, Come and behold Christ, who granteth the world the great mercy.
both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. David the prophet who became through the Theotokos the Stop 
establish the world so that it shall never be moved. Holy and all venerable church, for those who serve and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy, mercy be, be upon us, O Lord, even, even as, as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed, Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed, Blessed art thou, O Master, master. make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance her all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To Thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto Thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to Thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind. Look upon thy servants and thine inheritance, for unto thee the fearful judge who yet lovest mankind. Have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present <laughs> evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When thou wast lifted up upon the cross, O Lord, Thou didst expunge our ancestral, ancestral curse. And when thou didst descend to Hades, Thou didst free those who were bound from eternity, Granting the human race incorruptibility 
Wherefore we offer praise and glorify <laughs> thy third day resurrection. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered, and let them that hate him flee from before his face. The sacred Pascha hath been shown forth to us today, a new and holy Pascha, a mystic Pascha, an old venerable Pascha, a Pascha that is Christ the Redeemer. A spotless Pascha, a great Pascha, a Pascha of the faithful, a Pascha that hath opened unto us the gates of paradise, a Pascha that doth hallow all the faithful. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melteth before the fire. Come from that scene, O women, bearer of bearers of good tidings, and say to Zion, receive from us the glad tidings of joy, of the resurrection of Christ. Exalt, dance, and be glad, O Jerusalem, for thou hast seen Christ the King, as the bridegroom come forth from the tomb. So let the sinners perish at the presence of God, and let the righteous be glad. The myrrh-bearing women at deep dawn drew nigh to the tomb of the giver of life. They found an angel sitting upon the stone, and he, addressing them in this manner, did say, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Why mourn ye the incorruptible amid corruption? Go proclaim it unto his disciples. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. A Pascha of delight, Pascha the Lord's Pascha, and all venerable Pascha has done for us. A Pascha whereon let us embrace one, O one another with joy. O Pascha ransom from sorrow, today Christ has shone forth from the tomb as from a bridal chamber, and hath filled the women with joy, saying, Proclaim it unto the apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, when by thine ineffable dispensation thou didst all 
O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. from the angel the women disciples of the Lord cast from them their parental condemnation and proudly broke the news to the disciples saying death hath been spoiled Christ God is risen granting the world great mercy Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. At mid-feast give thou my thirsty soul to drink of the waters of piety. For thou, O Savior, didst cry out to all, Whosoever is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Wherefore, a wellspring of life, Christ our God, glory be to thee. Wisdom, blessed Master. Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who 
rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the holy and glorious great martyr Fotini, the Samaritan woman, of the apostles Andronicos and Junia of the Seventy, Athanasius the new Bishop of Christianopolis, and Eudoxia, Princess of Moscow, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints. Have mercy upon us and save us for as much as he is good and love us mankind. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb. Bestow life. Christ is risen. Truly Jesus. is risen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb, bestowing life. And my seal come and in my long word, for what he am out of your mouth. For we have a hayat and in love in a feel cobur. Christos and a stick, necron tanaton, tanaton patisas. Kitty sent his mimas his own, carisomenos. <laughs>